on in. Welcome to our Pickleball TV studios in Santa Monica, California. It is time for another edition of Pickleball Live. Alongside Matt Manassi, Cameron Blackwood, I'm Steve Weissman. Dave Fleming will be joining us from Atlanta momentarily. And over the next half hour, we're going to bring you all the best highlights, insight, analysis, and news from the world of pickleball. Top of mind right now, though, the big time upset. The top seeds in men's doubles are out. Cam, you called it. <laughs> I called it yesterday, and he about shut me up and said, There's no way that uh, Zhao Mei and Tyson were taking out the number one team. And I said, It's a, it's a huge possibility. They don't like when it's loud and it's exciting. And I said, uh, You know what? We'll see. I was, I, <laughs> look, I, I was wrong. The number one seed's out. Zhao Mei Martinez, Vic, Tyson McGuffin oh. played great. The hands of Tyson looked awesome out yeah. there. A couple calls the refs might have missed That's at the true. end to make my pick wrong, but okay. nothing to take away from Jaume Martinez, Vic Tyson. They were unbelievable. You think the challenge at the end was actually out, not in? I think it was out. And what there was think? a missed kitchen violation as well. I do agree. I do also agree that the ball was out, but really? there was also a kitchen violation that was missed earlier as well. Super close to the end there. I saw the ball in. <laughs> the number one seeds are out, and Tyson and Jaume are into the final. You Nothing can be yeah. said about that. I guess it was. Yeah, that, that's, I guess it was in. Uh, it, it has I been should, written. I should be championship it Sunday. Yes. Yes. We'll have. And congratulations not the top to them. Seat. I mean, they did have a good run. So good for them to make yeah. it into yeah. the finals. All right, we got a lot to get to today. Let's start with Annalie Waters playing in gender doubles alongside Catherine Parento. Of course, they're facing Callie Smith, Lucy Kovalova, Cam Waters, Parento have won all four previous meetings in this matchup. Yeah, a little bit of a scare you see right here. She goes and tells the ref, she says, hey, I need a medical timeout. She said, I'm feeling faint. I am seeing stars. I think I'm going to pass out. Uh, she had to hurry and exit the court. She went and saw medics. They took her blood, blood pressure. It was super low. Her sugar wasn't doing well down there. So they, she drank about three glasses of orange juice, came back in, and didn't miss a beat here. Annalie Waters with the big shot there. They were down 3-7 in game one. They start making a comeback against a very strong Kovalova and Smith team, but she can't ever count her out. She could, Catherine, in the interview, she said, I mean, she could be almost dying and she's going to win the point of great ATP there by Annalie Waters, but we're just glad that her health is okay and there was nothing too serious there. And, uh, Great win by her, but a good fight. And she has a long day tomorrow, so I'm glad she's okay and gearing up for the Triple Crown tomorrow. A little bit of OJ. She still brought the juice <laughs> in the end. 44 consecutive match wins without losing a game. Take a look at this. The most dominant women's doubles team in pickleball history. Waters, Parento putting up these numbers. You, you can put these up against any other sport, and they would still be greatness. There's no words to describe it. They are dominant, and I don't think it's going to be uh, ending anytime soon, especially not tomorrow. 112 and 1. It's incredible. All right, to mixed doubles we go. ALW with Ben Johns taking on the brother sister duo of JW Johnson and Georgia Johnson, Matt. Yeah, the Johnsons have beat Ben and Anna Lee before, so they were on high alert going into game one, but the number one seed was off to the races. Game two, though, another story. Talking to Annalie after, she said they got a little bit too dinky in yes. game two. And I think JW was really taking over from the middle, though. Game three, we had said Ben was the one that wasn't moving well. It was Anna Lee, a little bit out of sorts. Ben picking it up for her and really taking over down the stretch. The number one seeds were too good, and they are moving on to Championship Sunday once again. 62-1 and one this year. Eight of those wins coming against the Johnsons in men's doubles. The Johns, Johns bros playing Riley Newman and Christian Alshon camp. Uh, rematch from Vegas a couple weeks ago when it was Newman and Alshon that won 12-10 in the third. Yeah, we were talking to Colin Johns. He said we rewatched that match and we wanted to change up our spots. It seemed to work really well there. And they did just that. We weren't really sure how how Ben Johns was going to be with his ankle, but they were tested and came out on top. And uh, there's some history between these two, and things can uh, tend to get a little spicy between them. But it was really good by the Johns brothers to see them coming out strong, especially for a chance tomorrow. They have not held a gold medal in many tournaments. Yeah, you talk about the spice. <laughs> there was the trash talk at the end, and Colin explained what it was all about. I was actually just asking him if he had any more uh, classless comments to uh, to have after he uh, won the match against us in Vegas. He had some uh, some words that I can't repeat. So, um, you know, 
what comes around goes around. Um, if you're going to dish, you better be ready to deal. So uh, if you didn't like that, too bad. Try to beat me next time. If you're going to dish, <laughs> you better be ready to deal. I love that, I Colin. love it. We love to see that. All right, let's take a look at the Sunday doubles finals matchups. Uh, Matt, which one are you most excited for? That middle one, McGuffin, Martinez, Vic against the Johns Bros. Johns Bros looking to get back on top. You can see they have the spice, but McGuffin, Martinez, Vic, the fan favorites. You're going to see a lot of hands battles. I expect Colin to be more in the middle again and continue that aggression. I am pumped for that matchup, Steve. How about you, Cam? Are you taking the Johns? I'm taking the Johns. You know oh, that. Oh, goodness. You know that. <laughs> I'll go with the girls down at the bottom. I think we were talking to Anna Bright and Rachel before. They said we have been watching that match that we've beat them over and over and over again, trying to figure out what it was then that they were able to get the win. I still think Waters and Printo coming out on top, but hopefully they can take it to five games. I would like mm. it to see be very competitive. That's all I'm asking for. I want it to be competitive. All right. Well, we saw ALW in both doubles finals. Could she make it in singles as well to go for yet another triple crown? Waters facing Brooke Buckner, Cam, and Buckner actually actually jumped out to a quick lead in this first game. She did, and I, that's expected of her. She has great ground strokes, some of the hardest ground strokes on the women's side, and she's won two titles. Granted, Annalie Waters wasn't in the draw then, but uh, it was a great start for her. However, Annalie Waters, she knows how to win, to take you out of your game. Yes, she won the first game 11-7, a little bit tighter. Second game was not the same. She was in complete control there. Her up 9-0. Serves were working. Drives were working. Kitchen play was working. Drops were working. And she was very confident there coming in with the win. From 7-2 down in the first, she won 20 points in a row, <laughs> including that pickle to close it out. So I had to get tricky and change the game plan out there. She certainly did. Men's singles, world number one, Federico Staxrud facing the three seed, Connor Garnett. Matt, this is a rematch from the Utah Open final last month when Fed only dropped six points. Yeah, this one could have gone either way. They've beaten each other over and over again. I picked Staxrud, so I was wrong. But Connor Garnett getting a little lucky yesterday against Yates Johnson. I think he came out today a little more free getting through that. His passing shots were unbelievable from everywhere around the court. His movement looked great. He was not missing serves. He was not missing forehands. He looked a lot more polished. Here's that beautiful ATP. That was two bounces. Sorry, Fed. And Connor Garnett looking to get another title here in Atlanta. Yeah, he said Fed got me pretty comfortably in Utah. This is one I really wanted to get back. He'll face the winner of this match, a Johnson guaranteed to make the final. Will it be JW or Hunter? Yes, and these ones are not related. Hunter <laughs> played unbelievable in this match, came out firing. Steve, I know you picked JW to win this whole tournament, but Hunter came out strong. JW, though, for you, second game came out hot, was finding the corners, moving a lot better and coming into his own. All three games were a complete lopsided affair. Hunter, though, you could see what this win meant to him. He got very emotional at the end, pointing up to the sky. His girlfriend, Paris, also in Championship Sunday. You can see how much it means to him. We love when athletes pour it all out and get the result. Yeah, his first ever PPA singles final of his career. These are the two matchups in singles. Paris Todd, Annalie Waters, rematch of the Atlanta Open final for May. Waters won that one in the third. And then Hunter said he's actually going for some revenge because it was Connor Garnett that beat his brother Yates, a hobbled <laughs> yes. Yates Johnson yesterday. I'm picking Hunter on this one. Okay. He looks to be in form. He's moving very well. Cam, I know your pick on this one against Connor, but for Hunter, both guys move exceptionally well. They're very like mirror images of each other. I'd give the backhand edge to Connor Garnett, obviously, but I think Hunter's the hot hand this week. Forehand's going to be firing, moving so well. So we'll see. Yeah, I agree. I think Hunter's going to be victorious tomorrow. I think there's something something in the air over there. I really feel it with the couple in Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson, and they have a good support team. Her parents are there. Um, you have Yates there cheering him on, you know, and I just think there's something there. It's It feels special, and the emotion, you can see it. Paris was crying after her match. Hunter was crying after his, and this just means so much, so they're going to take it tomorrow. All right. A lot of tears. You almost made us tear up, too, after that interview. I did tear up. I was. I like you tough. calling me out as well. So both of us always wrong. And, and Cam is, is <laughs> Thank just you nails so it much. on those picks. How it should be, really. <laughs> that's, you know? that's how it should be. All right. Speaking of how it should be, at this point in the show, we bring in the voice of pickleball himself, Dave Fleming in Atlanta. Dave, always great to see you. A lot of big storylines that went down on a semifinal Saturday. 
Which one stood out most to you? Catherine Parento, man. I'm sick of her just taking a back seat. She was awesome today. AL doesn't have, she needs a Coke. She needs the juice. She needs all that. <laughs> she goes north of the border, brings a Canadian down and says, CP, make it happen for me. I need you. And she was terrific in that match. And she was wonderful in mixed doubles. So they're going to play together. Then they're going to play against each other. I love when that happens. But CP was terrific today and deserves to be in two finals. Dave, I want to talk about the Johns brothers. Colin, so much more aggression this tournament. They're playing at the top of their form that we've seen in a while. Do you think it was a blessing in disguise that Ben had this ankle injury this tournament? I don't know that it was a blessing in disguise. I think it was we haven't won since freaking April. <laughs> so we got to come up with a new plan. And he has been working, he being CJ, has been working on more aggression. The ankle injury enabled them to try some things out, though, earlier, Matt, in the tournament, in the earlier rounds when they felt a little more comfortable. You saw CJ just lighting up forehands off the bounce, and now they feel comfortable with that style. What's interesting is they're not going to play the top seed, so they're going to have aggression galore, yelling, screaming, barking from Tyson and Jaume tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Dave, we know that you want tennis players to come over, but I just love seeing all the junior players. We had one tournament where there was 100 yes. entries just on the junior PPA tour, but we love seeing them in the crowd. They're crazy fans here and just following the events around. But what's so important about bringing the youth in to this sport of pickleball? Well, I think there's the misperception that it's just an old person sport. That is not true. So when I see Sparkies on the 20 by 44, I love it. And what's going to happen, Cam, and this is an unsolved sport. We're still new. We're still figuring stuff out. These kids won't have played tennis. They'll have been playing pickleball since they were five years old, and they're going to just find things that we never dreamed of, and I cannot wait to see that. It's going to be so much fun to see the evolution from five, eight, and ten-year-olds coming into the pro game in about five to ten years. You know who's still a sparky? Uh, our guy Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Stay, Happy stay birthday, in the Dave. sparky. What, what's the celebration going to be like tonight? It's going to be fun, but I got a lot of pickleball to call. Oh, my gosh. Look oh, at this. Wow. Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Make your wish. Be, I'm going to be. The Steelers are definitely winning tomorrow Let's after that go. wish. That's right. And uh, I'm going to be d destroying some chocolate cake here in a second, guys. <laughs> Well, happy birthday, Dave. I enjoy it. Thanks for Thank joining us as always. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow if, if you know, that, that cake and all the, the drinks and everything sit, sit well with That's you. That's right. <laughs> Heinz, Heinz 57, a special Pittsburgh birthday. That's right. I promise to be pretty good tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow night at the end. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Much more still to come here on Pickleball Live. The world number one, Annalie Waters, going for another triple crown in Atlanta. So will she ever lose again? You won't believe which one of our analysts says it's going to happen tomorrow. Stay with us on Pickleball Live.
Yes. Questions on Pickleball Live. Y'all ready for this? I'm yes. Ready. All right. First question I've got for you. Going to start with Cam. Ladies please, first. Please. Uh, putting your fan hat on, which player is the most fun to watch? I got three and they don't need an explanation. Okay. I got Big H, Hayden Patrick Quinn. I got Jeff Warnick. And I got Jaume Martinez Vic. Done. Done. Three. I, I like asked the, for uh, one. I like uh, the Jeff Warnick. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll follow the rules. Uh, I'm going with Hayden Patrick Quinn. Yeah. Creativity, pace, smiles. You see his authentic self out there. He's going to be the new number one in the world at some point within the next Ooh. 18 months, I think. Hayden okay. Patrick I like Quinn. it. Year and a half. So you both went with him. Yep. Yeah. You just added two bonus. <laughs> yeah, well. of right. course. Uh, number two, which of the three disciplines in pickleball, singles, mixed, or gender doubles, carries the most weight, Matt? I think gender for me. It's what I like to watch the most. I obviously love mixed. Singles, I think it, it's too much of like tennis translating to pickleball. Doubles, it's really that nuance. So gender doubles for me. Gender doubles, Cam? Gender doubles, absolutely. I just think there's something about it. I love the new partnerships. I love the variety that we get yeah. there. It's it's a completely different game, and I think it's the one to watch when it's on. Wow. All right. We're, we're I'm gonna, two for two on a green. I, I know. I, know. I, I, I think Ew, singles I is most like exciting, it. and I really like mixed. Like, I wish there was more mixed in tennis. Yes, so okay. I agree with you. There. Mixed is yeah. super fun. Yep. It getting, is. Getting the two on the I team. Like gender. All right, number three. Uh, will Annalie Waters lose a PPA match before the end of the year? And if so, when, Cam? Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think there's something about it. I think it's in the air. They had a close three gamer last time they played in May in Atlanta. I, it, I think she can do it. I really do believe that she can pull it out tomorrow, and I'm going P. Todd tomorrow. P. Todd over Annalie Waters tomorrow. Wow. How about you? I'm saying no. I don't think she loses before the end of the year. I think tomorrow is going to be close. Paris yeah. has done it before. She's capable of it. I just... I see a separation at the moment, and I like Annalie Waters at least for the remainder of 2024. Okay. I'm glad that you all didn't agree on that one. <laughs> yep. Uh, would you rather, okay, would you rather have your voice on the new video game, PPA Pickleball Tour 2025, <laughs> or, or an all-expense-paid trip anywhere in the world? Wow, that is a great one. I didn't have that written down. <laughs> no, there, no, so that was the one that... Uh, well, I don't have my voice on PPA 2024, <laughs> yeah. so that's brutal. Um, you know what? I don't need to be a He's part bitter. of that video game. L let me fly to, like, Greece. All expenses paid. I'm down. Okay. As long as How, how there. long is the trip? As long as you want. Oh, I'm taking the trip. Yeah. Because I got my voice on Pickleball Live, so I'm okay. good with it. I'm Ooh, good with I, it. I like on that. Pickleball Live. Like. Here's the thing. You can pay for a trip anywhere. You can't pay to get on the video game. I think they're going to, I think they're going to, you know. There'll be a PPA 2025. Yeah, I think they're going to make some changes. That is 2025. Oh, 20, that's, oh, yeah, 2026. He doesn't, 20, even 20, he doesn't even know the game. <laughs> I think they're going to make some changes to the game, <laughs> and they're going to give us a call. Okay. Yeah. But you're on Pickleball Live, so that's, that's all right. that really that's matters, matters, and that was the best answer. Uh, what's an underrated skill or strategy that gets overlooked in Pickleball Camp? Offensive timeouts. I think we don't use them enough. I think there's times where you're kind of at that weird lull where you might be up 10-6 and you're just kind of stuck at side outs. I think it's really good sometimes to take an offensive timeout, really solidify a game plan, come back out, execute it, take the game. I'm going to go with a skill and it's footwork. I don't think people work on their feet enough. Everyone's always worried about that technique. Where's my paddle? How am I holding it? All these different things. It all comes down to the footwork, my spacing. Best players in the world have the best footwork. Yeah. Look at Ben Johns. Work on your feet at home. Come on now. Yeah, got to agree with that. Offensive timeouts, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what is something in the rules, format, or culture of pickleball that you would like to see changed or experimented with, Matt? We need to get rid of phones on the court during <laughs> matches. Yeah. That drives me up a wall. I know it's in the rule books that they're not supposed to have phones. We see them checking it during. I just think it makes the sport look unprofessional. Get rid of the phones. We can check them after. Bring notes in a journal if you need them. No phones. No phones. Uh, I think no paddle taps. I, I know it's part of the game, and it's just kind of what we brought, and it's part of pickleball. <laughs> I just, you don't see during halftime in the NBA or during an MLB game or halftime at, you know, NFL, hey, man, nice job. All right, good one. See, <laughs> see you in, like, 15 minutes. No, we're playing a game. I'm here to win. I just won or I just lost. We go to the bench, I get a drink, and I go right back out. I think paddle taps, it's, it's a little too much for me. No paddle taps until the end of the match. Agreed. Not yeah, and then, games. yeah, and then go, yeah. you know, have your respects there. Thank you so much. Good job. But I, I, you don't need to have it during the match. Totally agree and with I, that. And, and I and also no think it's a little weird when people get, like, uh, irritated when you don't. Uh, just, or maybe they do it too hard. Yeah, or like, yeah. Just, let's just, just go to your bench. Leave it out. Get ready, or do, you know, what Connor and Christian did at the end. 
and you know, do that in the middle. Right. Instead of pedal tap. Or during a point. Whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Or trash talk yeah. and pick a ball. I love, love that. that. Uh, another day, another demo <laughs> is coming up next. We're going to speed it up. Matt and Cam going to let you know when to reset and when to fire back. Plus, we're going to reset our bucket challenge. It's Pickleball Live on Pickleball TV. Much more on the way. I'm Matt Manassi, a.k.a. Pickleball McNasty, coach of the Stars. You are the pickleball instructor of the Stars. That's you know, what they so say. I, I feel like there's a lot that I could lean from you, So I mean, there's so much to work on, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know an overhead? Give me, give me one of them. Uh, money. I, I love that. Now we just, <laughs> gotta, now we just gotta control it. Do it right slowly before you progress to trying it fast. Uh, 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 come on! Thanks for coming out, man. man. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, another day, another demo presented by Humana. We're going to talk resets and speed ups, speed ups and resets in that order. So, Cam, when we get to the kitchen line, all right. hopefully all four of us are here. <laughs> if we're just dinking straight ahead, we could do this all day. There needs to be some type of variation. We need to have offense. So we need to speed the ball up. Okay. So what does that look like? Well, I want it to look exactly like my dink, right? Okay. I want you to be deceived by what I'm doing. So if the tip of my paddle is down, instead of just going, pushing through the ball softly, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit more through the ball. So instead of the ball traveling low to high, up and down, it's gonna go more through. Okay. And what did you just do there? Well, I just hit a reset, but we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> so when you're hitting the speed up, you're looking to jam or maybe create a pop-up. Correct. So you want to hit the spots accordingly. So sometimes, like you were saying, it's you don't really want to hit a speed up on the backhand side, a little bit easier to block. But on the forehand side, it can jam me up a little bit more. What are some spots to look for when you're hitting a speed up? Yeah, with a, with a righty, they call it that chicken wing, right? It's tough to get in here because... I like to separate my body into three segments. So, a ball that's coming over here is gonna be the backhand, left shoulder over, middle mass of my body, backhand as well. The chicken wings in here because to get from this position over, I have that one little spot that's a little awkward. So a lot of times, I'm gonna go at that right hip and see if I can hit you. Right. So here we're gonna dink, and then I'm gonna speed it up. Nice reset, Cam. <laughs> that was beautiful. Well, you know, it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so when I'm hitting a reset, talk me through that. Yeah, so first of all, always expect the speed up. That's a little Jeff Warnick tip. That was one of your favorite players. <laughs> he is. That was one of the best advices I've best advice I'd ever been given. Because when you're at the kitchen line, if you expect the speed up, your paddle's gonna be out in front, square paddle face, and you're gonna look to either I can counter, which is send the ball back as hard as it's coming toward me, or I can soften the hand a little bit and absorb that power and reset it into the kitchen. Resetting means we're neutralizing the point and getting back to even. All right, I'm gonna hit you some speed ups. Come on, give me a real one. I mean, what, 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 what is that? But I want to tell them this is a this is something that they can practice. This yes. is a drill that you guys can take onto the court yourself. You can say, okay, hey, for 10 minutes, Matt, you're only going to reset. I'm only going to do the speed ups. And then you can swap it and be like, all right, I'm going to hit the reset. You're going to hit the speed and ups. Let me, let me hit a couple speed ups here. So the variation here, I'll go, I'll just keep going a little bit faster, right? A little bit faster. And then eventually, boom, and she's still there. Oh, through the legs, that counts Whatever. for two. <laughs> Uh, Steve, what are we doing for that bucket challenge? All right, well, Get on listen, in here. Yesterday was our best yet, right? I um, agree. Cam won that one. Yes, the, it was the best. <laughs> <laughs> the day before you won, you had all the balls in. So today, it, we're going to make it even more difficult and okay. see who can come out on top. We're going to move the net over here. Okay. And right. we're going to use the, the speed ups and the resets. Okay. And basically, one of you is going to hit a speed up. Yes. And then the other one is going to try and reset it into the bucket. Okay. Right? Ooh, that's tough. So, Cam, you're going to start first? That oh, is tough. Oh, gosh. And again, this, that's going to come hard with the, with the speed ups. This yes. just doesn't seem like my jam. Is this is this good for you? Is this centered <laughs> that's, enough? It's right in the kitchen, right? Right in so the good, kitchen. Good beautiful. Little, good little reset. <laughs> Do you see that you see a little inch or two movement? That's going to make all the difference. So, you're going to hit a drive? Yes. I'm going to hit a drive. How hard do you want this drive? Whatever. Okay, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh! Off the rim. Okay, okay, oh, okay. No. I get like the buzzer. The buzzer, the buzzer hurts. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna I, give you I'm gonna give you another one. I want a bonus. I'm gonna okay. give you another that one. That first bonus. one was almost dead. Bonus round. 
Okay, Come on. Fine. All right, Matt's no, turn. Matt, you go. We'll switch Dude, it up. You don't yeah, want to jump in there? It's harder than it looks. I, I will. We're going we're gonna to get you in there. If, if, than if it you looks, all don't everyone. make one, then I have to step in and, you know, all right, so be the champion I, I think here. this is behind, I'm behind the. Yeah, you're behind the kitchen. I feel like I'm behind line. the kitchen. Sure, line. sure, sure. All right, I got to soften the hands out in front. All right, coach. Oh, no, that's garbage. Oh, a little too much. Oh, close. Do I get a bonus? Yes! Oh, no! Let's go. Let's go, oh, Steve. Come on. Steve, I mean, all right. Good job. Steve, since right. I was so great there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give, me some, give me some tips. Okay, so Let me know so, what I need so to do So first here. of all, I want you to square up. Oh, we were doing gosh. this in practice earlier. Yep. I saw you kind of moving off. Yes. That, that's more of your tennis skills, which you have great volleys in tennis. I've seen them. But I want you right now. Square. Square up. Soften this hand, this grip pressure yep. a little bit, and feel it right into the kitchen. Okay. Absorb we're going backhand power. here. Yes, we're going backhand. Okay. Square shoulders. Square right shoulders. Right at the target. All right, Cam, don't, don't be, you know, mean here. No <laughs> nasty Nelson. Ooh, I like that. Yes, Steve. Ooh, here we close, go. Close, close. Uh, you got it, you got it. Let's get him one go. more. Here we go. You got it. Oh, here we go. You can do this. All right, I believe in it. I believe in it, too. Oh, and I close, that. close. That was brutal. Oh. Shit. All right, we got it's it. Harder, we got it. It's harder than it looks. That was no, close. No, you're getting close. Give it a little loft. Give it a little loft. Yeah. I we like have a good reset. Not in the bucket, but a no, great reset okay. nonetheless. Yeah. All right, Steve, you, you keep working on that. We have a hot oh, shot sorry, sorry. coming up next when we return. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take, take over the lead anchor roll. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play this back at the end. Back on Pickleball Live. Shot of the day so far. Right there. Manassi getting it done. The only one of us to make it. Cam, we've did, got one more day tomorrow oh, for you did to... Did you see how shocked my face was in that slow-mo? <laughs> I think the three of us went one for, like, 37. Uh, here's the real pickle point of the day. This was unbelievable. Anna Lee Waters covering so much court, pumping herself up after this. She definitely had plenty of orange juice early in the morning to get all this, <laughs> these shots. Brooke Buckner with the overhead. Woo! No, ma'am. Unbelievable passing shot down the line. Anna Lee Waters, that's why she is number one in the world. Yeah, look at that footwork there and just slaps it down the line. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be electric, going for her 29th triple crown. 29th triple crown. Nobody else on the women's side has more than one. <laughs> so correct, that, yeah. that is the dominance that, <laughs> yeah. that she's had. And by the way, she didn't play that tournament, obviously. <laughs> so uh, here is your Sunday championship schedule. Starts 11 a.m. Eastern. All the big time matchups. Let's talk some more about Annalie Waters taking on Paris Todd because you said, Cam, earlier in the show, that P. Todd is going to come through with a big-time upset. She has beaten her before, albeit, you know, a couple of years ago. Right. What's the game plan? Yeah, I think she's going to have to come out hot right off the bat, and I think she's going to need to be patient. Annalise Waters is going to hit those shots. She's going to have hot shots. She's going to be all over the court. She may have to hit two, three, four, five winners. It's not getting frustrated, taking maybe those offensive timeouts, really strategizing those timeouts all the way through. It's going to be close. It's going to go to three games. I know that. But I think in the end, mm. she's going to pull it through. How about the mixed final where the, the two women's doubles partners yes. are playing against each yes. other? Yes, Parento, Annalise Waters. <laughs> yeah. Alshon thrown in there as With well. With Johns, and they, yes, and they went at I, it today I, I, in exactly. gender There's, there's going to be some spice there for sure. I'm picking Ben and Anna Lee like I always, <laughs> <laughs> always do, unfortunately. I think the, the biggest difference is the power of Anna Lee. Catherine very wizard-like at that kitchen line, can do a lot with the ball, very creative. But in mixed, I think you need some finishing power. Anna Lee has that. Giving it to the number one seed. Okay, because of your pick, you're saying no 29 triple crown. Are, are we getting 29 triple crown? We're getting crown? 29. No. <laughs> uh, no, I love Annalie. I think she's great. I just think there's something different in the air right now. That's all I'm saying. I just feel the emotion is there, and, and Paris is playing great. And I think she has the support okay. to get it done. And you both picked Hunter Johnson That's as right. well. Yeah. That's right. Men's singles. That would yeah. be his first title. That'd be massive. That'd be huge. Oh, yeah, That'd first huge. final, first title. All right, we've got it all for you, plus the worm. Uh, for <laughs> Matt, Cam, Dave, our entire Pickleball TV team, I'm Steve Weissman. Thanks for joining us on another edition of Pickleball Live. We will see you back here tomorrow for Championship Sunday from the CIBC Atlanta Slam presented by Vizzy.